Who's been in my house, Jackie? They don't lie to me. What? No one has been in the house but me, Will. Who's it is? Or should I ask God? Hello? God got your tongue? They're mine. I wanted a fresh pair. I just bought them. These don't look brand new, Jackie. They're refurbished. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? I'll show you. Crazy. Will. 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 We're lying to me. And tell me who's in my house. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell. Okay. I want to start with having everybody tell us about your character on the show. We can start with Ashanti. Don't start with me. Um, my name is Ashanti Harris. My character is Aisha. And Aisha, she's a social media influencer. And she's dating this guy for, for social media. And then she finds another guy. Um, Rome, which is played by Design, and um, she ends up liking him. She ends up liking him, and so now they're pretty much trying to navigate this relationship where he's uncomfortable because she's dating this social media guy, but still trying to cultivate a relationship with him. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, how about you, Anissa? Hi, I'm Anissa Lachey, and I play the role of Jackie. Uh, so in this season, you see Jackie navigating from, I will say something along the lines of true love to a sense of forced love. I know a lot of times we have certain expectations that our parents want us to live up to. And I think that we're seeing that um, in season two. And yeah, she's just navigating this new life, good and bad. I heard that. That's, that's what we all do. Um, what about you, Kadeem? What's up, everybody? My name is Kadeem. I play the role of Kenny. Uh, Kenny, you know, he's a relatable, down-to-earth guy. You know what I'm saying? We all know Kenny, some shape or, or fashion. Uh, he's somebody who, uh, he's basically just trying to, he's trying to get to where he's trying to go. All right? Um, as you can see in this season, season two, uh, he's struggling with his feelings between Princess and Jackie. Jackie, that's that's his old thing, you know what I'm saying? That's always gonna be, you know, his, she's always gonna have his heart, uh, but he moved on uh, with another young lady by the name of, uh, well, artist name of Princess Doll. She's an artist, he manages her, yet they are in a relationship. Um, so he's finally <laughs> broken into the industry that he was trying to get into. And as you, this season, we're just gonna see Kenny struggle between love and his career, right? So, yeah, it's all about balance with Kenny. Okay. And Desan, tell us about your character. What's up, everybody? My name is Desan Onyx Frazier. I play Rome this season in Tough Love. And Rome is a young man who kind of came from a, a, a rough background, you know, upbringing. And he meets Aisha, who is played by Ashanti. And in doing so, he's trying to, you know, figure out and, and navigate you know, her social media life versus real life, something that he's not used to. So he's working on his patience and a lot of other things. And that's really the dynamic on how he comes in and, and, and works on himself through this season. Yeah. All right. That sounds very interesting. And Leslie, let's hear from you. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. I'm Leslie Shivery. I play the role of Princess Doll. I am Kadeem's love interest, AKA his new artist that he manages, but barely is doing his job because he's so um, wrapped up in Anissa, or sorry, in Anissa's character, um, Jackie. So it's a lot of confrontation there. We have open dialogue about her, um, but he's still sneaking behind my back because she's still around. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sounds really juicy. 
Yeah. So um, I'm going to go to uh, Anissa. What have you enjoyed, enjoyed about shooting Tough Love? So for me, I was um, brand new to the cast. Um, um, So what I enjoyed the most was, uh, again, I was new, completely new to the cast. Um, Just being able to come in and feel so welcomed by everyone. Um, You don't get cast on any um, projects where it's so family oriented. Like we literally hang out outside of shooting. We stopped shooting in January, but I still see these people all the time. So I enjoyed that and I just enjoyed uh, how the writing made me like step it up in terms of my acting and it made me explore different levels, different emotions, um, different challenges. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. There's not just one overall message that viewers should take from this season. There's so many different lessons and, 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 and trials and tribulations that go within. I think the biggest thing that people could take away is that like, there's so many things that's going on that you could see yourself, no matter what relationship you look in. There's there's a little bit of everybody um, in each in each situation slash relationship that's going on. And I think I think the lesson is um, that we're seeing right now um, is that guilty by association is a is is really like one of the biggest topics right now uh, I see within the show because. You know, even though they had nothing, and I'm not going to give the show away. I, I got to go ahead and watch it yourselves. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they got some things going on that they really didn't have too much to do with. But now they're paying the price of these actions just because they were involved in this situation. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, y'all got to go watch That was show. good. That was good. And that was actually... Shout out to my dad because he had the kids watching the show yesterday, the first episode, and he was like, he done made a whole little lesson out of it. I was looking back like, damn, I didn't even see that. But yeah, man, um, really just be careful on who you involve yourself with. And um, yeah, you don't know. You don't know what could come about that. So yeah, just be mindful of what's going on. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the new episodes, man. Shout out dad for that lesson for real. Yeah, shout out pops. Uh, no matter if you right, you associate with the wrong people, you ain't even had to have a finger in it. But guess what? Now you're part of it. Now you connected. Yeah. Okay. Uh that's a that's an interesting question because right now, um uh, well, Atlanta is under a lot of development. Um, it's a lot going on. Uh we're getting ready for FIFA 2025. So I think the city, Metro Atlanta in general, is that's 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 the spot to be in from Midtown to to you know to East Atlanta uh, to Buckhead. I mean, we got a lot to offer within Metro Atlanta. So, but for me, I would say the spot to be that I'm feeling right now at this big age, I would have to say uh, I like the Colony Square area. That's just me. Um, I like cigars. I'm a big cigar fan. Um, so I, I, I visit the cigar bar uh, right near Colony Square, uh, Colony Square a lot. That's, that's something that I'm into right now. So if you, you're on a date or you just, you know, you want to just check out the vibes, hit the High Museum right down the street, um, Divion, you know, right around the corner. Uh, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good space. Devon? The, is it, yes, the, the Medi- that, Mediterranean it, spot. Like, yes, yeah, yeah, the Mediterranean spot. They got yeah. great the shops there. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, you can man, north side, south side, east side, west side, just the middle of the city. You're gonna find a gym. So that's why people love you. Right. So I just wanted to jump in really quick um, with this question, <laughs> and I think it was a perfect Atlanta was the perfect location for the story. Um, so although I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama, growing up, I did live in Atlanta and. I went to college here. Um, And one of the things that I saw, I love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Um, One of the things that I saw just growing up and just being here, um, a lot of people put on this facade, like they really got it and they don't. Um, There's a lot of finesse in it. Um, There's a lot of get it by any means necessary. A lot of Um, skin. Yeah, for sure. And I think that was pivotal to the story, the location of it being in Atlanta, because it kind of shows that that's the life that a lot of people in Atlanta live, scamming. That's that's all they know. So I think Atlanta was the perfect location to be able to showcase um, this storyline. Awesome. So tell everybody 
why they need to be watching Tough Love Atlanta Thursdays on Clio TV. I would say, I'm sorry, I'll jump in. I think everyone needs to watch um, Tough Love Atlanta season two because you can see yourself in at least one of the characters. Um, just situations. I know me personally, I've witnessed certain situations and been a part of situations that I'm seeing on this season. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a show that you can relate to, definitely tune in. Um, I'll jump in on this question as well. I think everybody should tune in to this show. One, because it's created by a Black, beautiful couple, Ronnie and Caleb Davis. Married. Um, married couple for years. I think it's, I don't want to get the number wrong, but 14, 15, something like that? But they've been together longer. Anyway, um, this show talks about the struggles and love um, between people in general. Of course, the things that we see on social media um, gets talked about, it brings up conversation and controversy. So if you're one of those people who like to talk about controversial situ situations, this is the show for you. Okay, I heard that. I'm I'm very excited about tuning in and seeing everything that unfolds. And um, so what's next for you all? You can start, you can, you can continue. Um, next for me, I just finished filming a show called Grits, um, which will be coming out at the top of next year. Whoop, whoop. Um, I'm a lead in that and it will be on All Black. So that's, that's coming soon. Okay. All right. What about Kadeem? What's what next for to... me? Um, so I got a few projects coming out. I got a movie called Damsel, who I shot with uh, uh, my guy, 89 Kings. Um, it's starring myself along with Mrs. Tiffany Williams, brilliant actress, singer, dope singer. She definitely made an anthem for our generation. Um, and I, man, I'm, I'm tapping into investing. Um, I'm tapping into real estate. And okay. uh, hey, life itself is a journey. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 new grounds. I'm, I'm pursuing new grounds. I'm pursuing uh, new paths. But uh, hey, we, we still working, one day at a time. That's how we take it. Okay, Leslie, would you like to share what you have coming up? Um, sure. I have a movie coming out soon which will be on Amazon Prime and in Tubi. And it's called The Vegan Version. I play the lead role. Kadeem also plays my love interest in that as well. <laughs> um, and then also, it's a crazy, it's a, it's a raunchy dramedy. So yeah, oh, your kids can't watch it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, I have a six-part series that is coming out soon. Um, I actually shoot some pickup scenes on Friday for it called Love Connection, where I play a married couple. I play the wife of a married couple who, let's just say, uses... Um, uh, I don't want to give it away, but I play a different role than I've never played before. Um, very sexy, but very strong as well. And um, yeah, yeah, just look forward to that. Call it the Love Connection. All right, the Love Connection. Well, it's great talking to you all today. Thanks for thanks for coming through. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good one. Hey. Bye. You ready? I'm so ready. The only one that I want to be with. Will you marry me, Jackie? I don't want no more excuses from you. I don't know who I'm in a relationship with, an influencer or a scammer. Jackie! Get out! You walk away. Wait, no, 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 no.